The following information represents the times taken by some girls to do a jigsaw and our first task is to turn this information into a box plot above the axis. Now on a box plot we put a line at the shortest and the longest time. So the shortest time is 18 minutes, so 15, 16, 17, 18 and a line at the longest time of 44 minutes. I also put a line at the lower quartile which is 25 minutes, one more at the median of 29 minutes and another one at the upper quartile which is 33 minutes. I then draw a box around from the lower to the upper quartile and then draw a line down to the lowest value and one up to the highest value. So this box plot represents the given information on a simple graph and anyone looking at this would know the lower, higher, lower quartile, upper quartile and the median. In the next part we're asked to compare the boys and the girls times and we're going to make two distinct comparisons. Now the first comparison is always the median and the girls median as we know is 29 but the boys median is lower That is only 25.5. So this means that on average the boys are quicker at doing the puzzles because their median is lower than the girls median. This of course is also shown by the fact their graph is to the left whereas the girls is to the right. So the median shows that on average the boys are quicker than the girls. It's important here to state the exact values being compared. The second comparison is on the spread of the data and this can be done by looking at what's called the interquartile range and this looks at the width of the box which shows how spread out the average girls are and how spread out the average boys are. Now the girls into quartile range is found by doing the upper quartile take the lower quartile. So 33 take 25 is 8. That's 8 minutes. Now the boys into quartile range is found from their upper quartile minus their lower quartile. Now their upper quartile is at 28 and their lower quartile is down at 19. So their lower quartile is 9 minutes. So their interquartile range is larger than the girls. So this means that even though their time on average is slower, the boys times are less consistent than the girls. So when asked to compare distributions you compare the median and also the interquartile range.